This is the story of the ant and the grasshopper. It is adapted from Aesop. One day, Grasshopper was hopping along and chirping a happy tune. Then he spotted Ant dragging a huge ear of corn. Ant, there is no need to work so hard, he said. No need to work so hard? There is no time for rest. I am preparing for winter, said Ant. Preparing for winter, left, left Grasshopper. We have plenty of food right now. He will see. Ant thought to herself. When winter blew in, Grasshopper had no food. He was starving. He had no energy to hop. He saw Ant handing out corn from the piles she had collected. As his stomach growled, he remembered what Ant had told him. Now Grasshopper knew it is best to prepare for the future. So we're going to be working in our blue social studies folder and we're going to open to page number seven and this is called stories come from around the world. Some stories teach lessons, some stories are told again and again. So we have some books here. The first one, um, well let, let's start with the one that is circled. It says the empty pot. And underneath it says, Ping was honest in that story. And then the one that has the blue and the boy that looks like he's holding a blanket is called, What About Me? Underneath it says, The boy did not give up. And the one that has the windmill is called, The Hole in the Dike. And it says next to that, Peter did his best to help others. So the reason that I circled the one called The Empty Pot was because it was about honesty. Can you take your pencil and do the same thing? You're gonna circle the book entitled The Empty Pot. After you do that, you're gonna find the very next page. So that's page seven on the back is page number eight. And on page number eight, it looks like this. Real or fantasy. So books can be something that really happened or it could be something that is make-believe or made up, and that's called fantasy. So this very first picture at the top of the book, the book is called Our Neighbor is a Strange, Strange Man. And this book, it says a young boy's neighbor is Mel Melville Murrell, an inventor. He is building an airplane. He is determined to make his dream of flying come true. And then we have the story with the bird. It says the crow and the pitcher. And you just watched that story. One of my favorite ones. It says a thirsty crow sees a pitcher with a tiny bit of water in it. The crow is determined to get that water. Does he get it? Do you remember what happened in the story? Okay. So some of these could really happen and some could not. So a crow probably wouldn't, that wouldn't really happen, right? But the, the man on the other picture is something that could really happen. So, so this is going to be the attachment that the students are going to be working on. So at the very top, number one, um, you see it looks like a teacher and some books are falling. How could the kids be good citizens and help? So you can talk about that with your mom and dad. And then for the um, box, you are going to draw what good citizens might do next. How could those kids help the teacher? And then number two, I want you to be thinking about Ruby Bridges. Remember that one from the other day and how she was brave? So you're going to write a sentence about Ruby Bridges. You can just do your best on the, the right where it says to write. So if you wanna just write um, Ruby Bridges, just the name again, that would be fine.